Today we're going to look at creating storyboards in Shop Manager. This is part one. Welcome. It's going to be a great day. I'm using Blender 3.4. Our Shop Manager was designed to work with 3.3. This tutorial is for intermediate level Blender users and you should know the basics. First, let's have a quick look at the interface. Here is the 3D viewport, which remains the same. This is the Shot Manager panel. Here is the sequence timeline, which is the actual edit. Below is the interactive shot stack, which is where you create your edit. You could think of this as a rough working edit. Now let's open Shot Manager. Use the N plus the left key to reveal the Shot Manager tab on the right. Now let's go down and expand the editor. And use this icon with the film clapboard to switch from previous to storyboard layout. Also, everything, almost everything you hover over reveals a tool tip. Previous is the default status. The icon with a figure represents storyboard layout. Guess that's the artist. Click on the plus symbol to add a new board frame. We're going to only do one for now. The board is added to the current take. And we are only going to have one take for now. And we'll talk about takes later. I'm going to change the shot name to SH001 and start at the current frame, which is frame one, where the playhead is currently located. Now you can see these preset layers are created after I do that in the interactive shot stack. Let me move this frame so I can see the whole thing. This is my main take, and in this case, the only take, and my shot name is listed here. We've been in object mode so far. Now, when we select the pencil icon for draw on storyboard frame, it now goes into storyboard mode, and we can use the grease pencil to start drawing because we are also in draw mode, not object mode. Back to the preset layers. Now these layers are also available to select in the Shot Manager panel. You can also select the layers with these diamonds. The default is the rough layer. Here we have the FG lines, which is foregrounds. Next to it is MG lines, which is middle ground, and then BG lines, which is background. Below them are the diamonds to select the fill layers corresponding to the line layers. The diamond in between these six and the rough is to activate the perspective layer. The perspective layer is the one I'm going to start drawing on now. You see it is now selected. Let me change the stroke size of my pencil by holding down the F key. Now this is a simple background, so a simple one point perspective will do. Now I select the rough layer to draw my scene. Next I'll separate my foreground, middle ground, and background elements on their respective line layers. And I've speeded this up so you really don't get bored watching me draw. That's done. Now to create my fills. You could turn off the layers that aren't needed so it's not confusing. I'm working on the background fills only. I'm going to select my ground materials from the header. Now sky, 
mix my middle ground fill material color. And finally, my foreground fill material color. Now I've only drawn one frame. A storyboard is made up of many frames. In part two, I'll show you how to create many frames. So the storyboard starts to look like this. Here's where you can get Shot Manager to download and install. That's all for now. See you next time. Well, that's all for today. If you've learned something today, this has value to you, please like, share, and comment. I'd like to hear from you. And subscribe so you don't miss an episode. And remember, just create.